All right, uh, good evening. We'll uh, have Coach make his opening statement and take questions as a reminder to stick your hands up. We'll try to get to everybody we can. Coach, whenever you're ready. You bet. Um, every win is uh, important. And uh, like the way the guys prepared all week long and got a chance to, to give them a chance to go out there and have success. Um, you know, they get a lot of points right away, but kept applying pressure different ways once we got the field position flipped, uh, especially I think after the interception. Momentum swinging, so you know some good team football there. Uh, three takeaways uh, as I see it, and uh, none as far as giving up. So you know there's always areas we can correct and, and be better. Um, we got to have some better awareness with some things. Just you know living in the gray area on some stuff, and it's hurting us uh, just from really you know taking a big big step. Um, and I feel like we're just right on the edge. And so we'll get a chance to hash through those those areas, those gray areas that. Uh, a lot of times lead to penalties or just miss execution. Um, it just can't be that every little thing that is new or happens to us is something we have to learn, you know, a hard lesson from. It might be just execution of a play. I'm not even talking about penalties all the time. So um, just, uh, you know, go back to work. And um, I know that where the guys' heads are at uh, with what they did this last week, uh, with what happened today. And, uh, you know, a good time for us to have this week uh, to, to get ready for uh, LSU. And, uh, you know, the five, you know, you can always find find a reason for it to be a good time. And uh, I feel like it's a good time just to our guys to recover physically and mentally and make the final run. Thanks, Coach. Let's start on the right side with Charlie. It, yeah, Coach, just quickly. Then we saw Cole go down the first quarter. Yeah, that's the hell of a thing. Yeah, lower extremity. Um, probably going to be some of the more evaluation, but it feels like it's going to be something that might be a little bit of time uh, where it'll be, be missed. So um, we probably have more on Monday. Uh, with that, but that's what it feels like right now. Go left side, Chase. Uh, obviously, the offense started slow early, but you ended up with almost 500 yards. Were some adjustments made that you can touch on that kind of helped the offense get things going? Yeah, probably a combination of a few things. Um, just stay in the course. Uh, one, try to be balanced. One, try to get different guys' touches. Um, the field position, uh, you know, and just wanting to, you know, get us out of our own territory. Uh, not that you, you naturally are going to be a little bit more conservative there, um, but we just couldn't quite make the big play. I think we missed the big one to, to Kobe uh, and um, missed on a couple of third downs that, uh, you know, just, just off of hands. Um, and, you know, then there's a penalty that puts you behind the sticks and backs you up a little bit. So I think the field position certainly kept us from having drives and you have to have explosives if you're going to go the length of the field and we just missed on those. We knew that was going to be hard when we got in the red zone. Um, we really had to buckle down. Uh, that's frustrating when you have to walk away with field goals. Uh, but you know, um, you know, Graham did a nice job. You know, getting a couple couple there in the first half, and uh, that was that was good just to get some points. And then the defense just continued to you know keep fighting, um, get the takeaways. They got put in a couple spots just because we couldn't get the field flipped, and they got off the field. Uh, so, you know, hats off to them. I thought they had a really good week of practice, considering a lot of moving parts over the last two to three weeks, especially in the back half. And uh, I thought they went out and executed and uh, made no excuses about how much someone was practicing and anything like that. They just knew the work had to be the work and, and went out there and, and did a nice job, made some plays, you know, some diving interceptions and things like that. Uh, ma made their breaks, and that's what I appreciate. Back over to the right side, let's go to Nick. Yeah, that's 10 takeaways over the past three games. Do you feel like the defense has turned a corner? You're only as good as your last play, right? It's only as good as your last game. And so um, there are things you make sure that you're, you, you know you do well. And that's something that um, is certainly, there's some, there's some good vibes when it comes to taking the football away defensively. You know, they're, they're hunting it. Um, they're anticipating a little bit. Um, you know, so so a little bit more of attacking mindset, but not uh, not so much on their heels, and uh, you know, just making every yard count. You know, wanted them to really get that shot out there. Uh, that's why I called the timeout. If there was any type of question at all, uh, wanted to get let us get our feet in the feet in the ground and uh, be able to play football. And so uh, wanted that for them because I know they've been working extremely hard and just uh, staying the course. And appreciate the effort today. Um, really kept us right there uh, to where once the offense then got it rolling um, better and, and found ways in there, especially the latter half of the second quarter uh, to where we really started, you know, playing a full team game. 
Back right, Tony. Sticking on the defense, you were able to hold them to three of 13 on third down. And then also you had that fourth down stop. Just uh, what did you see from the third down defense? And then how much do you think you can build off of both that and that you said preserving the shutout with that stop? Yeah, you, you, you're always looking for the, the things and the wins that you're you're doing. I know we have our goals and what we think we need to do uh, each and every week. But um, just, just flat out uh, having that uh, each week be something that we can hang our hat on, whether it's takeaways or now, you know, after today's game, uh, just getting off the field on third down. Those are momentum builders. Uh, those are the positives that you can take from today, apply it, um, and everyone kind of looks at each other and believes that you can go make that play um, and get that stop. And so uh, that is definitely something we can build off of. Uh, and you know, now they just know that they're capable of it. Now you got to line up and do it again. Let's go to Steve in the middle row. Coach, are you able to run the football, especially in front of your coach in the second half, that thunderous run by Justice Haynes? Yeah. What kind of juice did that bring the team, especially the sideline, seeing him do that? He had a couple. Uh, were you talking about the one going from my left to right? Yeah. And then, was it the touchdown? Yes. Yeah, yeah that, that, that's the one that sticks out in my mind, too. Um, just, you know, there was a hit in there, and you could, thunderous is probably a good word to put it because I can hear it, you know, and uh, for him to stay on his feet keep the legs moving, bounce off, and then guys downfield blocking. Uh, you know, great effort. Uh, yeah, that's that's something I just I see from them. Uh, the want to is, is there, and to see it pay off in that type of way and then have guys making plays, um, there's some momentum things and things that we can build off from there too. But that was a, that was really, you know, not just one for him, it was one for everyone to see, you know, that physical type of, uh, type of run. And, uh, you know, Jam, I thought, did a nice job on some runs there too. Uh, at different times, so the uh, one-two punch right there is, uh, you know, took a good uh, step in the right direction. Second row left column. With Jam and Justice finding that success, do you feel, did you feel like Jalen kind of had a little bit of, you know, weight off his shoulders in terms of making the offense go? How did he kind of respond to kind of that? Yeah, you bet. No, I think I think that's how. I mean, every quarterback needs a good run game, right? And and so the whole weight of everything isn't on one guy's shoulders and. Um, you know, there's still even more things that we can do better. We got to stay out of situations where our backs are to the wall. Like we can't be in first and 25 or whatever it was, you know, on just a simple play where we get 12. And really, they, I, not that they don't matter um, because there's a purpose to why they're cutting, but we can't have illegal chop blocks. You know, we got to be clean across the board, hit that 12 yards, help, help Jalen out. You know, it's an easy, nice throw, gets him into a rhythm to start a drive. Those are the type of things we got to help them. We can't have someone substituting and a route be run, you know. And it, it, it sometimes, you know, he doesn't make the throw that you want or he wants. But then there's other times too. Other guys just got to make sure they stay the course and run the route the way it's need to be run, um, you know. And everything we just got to keep learning from uh, the, the things that think quite quite click. It's really close. And uh, you know, just go back to work, make those corrections, communicate, keep talking. And that's what I saw on the sideline. I saw. You know, some receivers and Jay Mill continue to just try to iron things out, you know, and uh, with Cole being out, um, that moves some guys around. Kobe, we got uh, even Ryan in a, in a spot or two, uh, probably that he hasn't practiced much. And so just, you know, finding that, finding that level of being in sync, you know, at the elite level is still not there yet, but I do feel like we did some things um, taking a step forward, but we got to continue to take the pressure off him to where every play is on him, run or pass. Let's go to Wyatt. Your secondary did a good job keeping Missouri's receivers in check. How has that room grown and developed throughout this season? And then also Bray Hubbard filling in for Keon Sapp today. Yeah, you know, excited for Bray uh, to have this opportunity. Um, the guys really do believe in him. He works extremely hard. Uh, and then uh, just across the board, you know, every snap that you know, our young guys take um, from ZB to Bach to, you know, all, all, all of them. Uh, there's a lot of new faces in there working together. And, um, you know, Malachi and, and the mind really kind of being the staples uh, that have been pretty consistent. Uh, you know, um, today we had some guys that rotated in at nickel and things like that too. So uh, just just uh, love the way that they keep, they're, they're continuing to get better. I think there's things that they can build on uh, again today. But uh, there's some tough, there's some tough kids, you know, really uh, not just put it out on Saturday, but this week, you know, they were able to be on the field a little bit more. And anytime they can do that, they understand how important practice is to build that confidence so they can go out and execute 
on a higher level each and every week. And that was, that was something I actually felt better about this week than I have really the last two or three weeks is that I saw the reps in practice because we were a little bit healthier. We are just healthy enough to be able to go out there and, and uh, get some of those reps in that showed us, you know, there can be a trust in each other and uh, ex in our execution. Two more questions, starting all the way in the back right of the room. Coach, uh, Mal has a guy that, that obviously took a lot of criticism um, a couple weeks ago. What does it say about him? He's been able to bounce back, move on from that, and have three takeaways now in the last two games to play as well as he has. You know? Yeah, I think there's just, um, you know, there's moments that you go through, anyone does, and, um, you know, that, that was a moment that, you know, we don't want to, I, I know he's not going to want to go back to, you know, I know how he feels about it. And, um, I know what he's done since then, and uh, really a lot of growth, you know, not just in a situation that might come up like that, but growth. Uh, the passion, you're never going to question the passion, you know. The, the way he is in practice, um, sometimes you don't know if he's mad or happy, you know. He just, he, he's bringing it. Um, we got a couple guys like that, a Tyler Booker, you know. They play to, to the end of the whistle, uh, and then in practice, they're just taking it upon themselves to, um, be those vocal leaders, um, and so they're pouring, you know, everything into it. They're bringing their A game every single day in practice to help will this team to uh, take those next steps and, and be better each and every day. And so um, there's a lot of growth that he's had. Um, you love seeing growth uh, be rewarded, and uh, so yeah, I'm very happy for him. Finish up with Jonathan on the left side. Hey, Coach, you played in four really close games before this one. So first, was it nice to be in a game where you had a cushion like this? And then second, how do you think this can maybe propel your team into the final month of the season? Yeah, I thought there was a level of physicality that we had today that uh, both sides. I think there was, there's been always times each side of the ball has had their moments, but I thought there was a little level, a little, little different level of physicality, you know, and we knew – uh, we really felt like, you know, they were a well-rounded team. I know they lost uh, their quarterback there, but even when he was in there, we were doing some, some really good things defensively. And so uh, the run game uh, has been something that really gets them going. I thought we were around the football. I know at the end they popped a couple when we had some different guys in there, but uh, was, I'm really appreciative of the, the physicality we brought to the table, um, you know, and, and, and the execution, uh, just being where they're supposed to be, uh, you know, the play action didn't really get a chance to open up off of any run. Uh, so, you know, guys were in their spots, eyes were in the right, in the right places. Um, just, you know, discipline with their jobs and doing their job uh, at a high, higher level. So, uh, always room to improve, and I know we're going to continue to do that. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate it. Thank you.